Performing a background check, especially an eviction search on potential tenants, is about gaining an objective look at the type of renter they will be, and essential to spot any negative patterns. However, there are some misconceptions about this type of public record information. One big misconception is the idea that evictions are a blacklist and that it doesn't matter how old the civil case is. To the contrary, eviction cases only up to seven years are reportable per the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and in some jurisdictions, even greater restrictions are in place. For example, Oregon has a five-year limitation, and in California, only civil judgments in favor of the plaintiff may be used. Another widespread myth is the idea that property managers and landlords do need to run an eviction check because it will be on the credit report. But the fact is, the bureaus report less than 10% of the cases filed, and they're only the ones involving a monetary judgment. Many cases, especially in California, are for possession only. The landlord is eager to get the delinquent tenants out first, and will go back to the court later to file for monetary restitution, so the eviction judgment would not be on the credit report. It is important to talk to your screening provider about what methods they use to detect non-monetary civil cases like these. Make no mistake that eviction reports are a crucial element of a complete tenant screening report. Click the link below to investigate other myths surrounding eviction records.